traps do you think you have? Um, I have over 4,500 traps. And At Tom Parr's Trap History about, Museum outside that. Columbus, Ohio, it's easy to feel, well, a little trapped. I guess it's been a lifelong obsession to collect things, and probably in the late 1980s, I decided I wanted to collect animal traps of all sizes. All sizes, all shapes, his quirky collection lines the walls floor to ceiling. This one will impale. Delighting a couple hundred equally trap-happy visitors a year. And when they walk in and see all this, what's the usual reaction? Most of them are somewhat overwhelmed. Parr treasures them all. They would set this like so. But one and, uh, seems to hold a special place in his heart. As a mouse comes up to in get goes, the peanut butter, boom, Ouch. he gets caught. <laughs> that basic household standby, patented over a century ago, a timeless design as perfect today as it was back then. It's so simple. They try to change it. Uh, they rebuild it, but it still goes right back to the same thing, a wood base with a, with a spring-loaded arm that comes down and uh, annihilates the mouse. Annihilates. Annihilates. <laughs> <laughs> very so, delicately said. Yes, right. <laughs> but despite its dead-on success, roughly 15 inventors a year for almost a century have gotten patents for a supposedly improved version. There's that famous quote, build a better mousetrap, the world will be the path exactly. to your door. Uh, people seem to have taken that to heart. I think they have, yes. So this is the room devoted to mousetraps? Yes, this is it. Wow. Here reside some 1,500 mostly failed attempts at mousetrap perfection. As soon as he walks on there, it goes down, ah. and it's called the smasher. <laughs> so there's one that is called the electrocutor. Featuring some astonishingly <laughs> creative means <laughs> to the same cat. gruesome end. This is a four-hole choker. See, here's one called the Iron Cat. The mouse goes in this chamber. You know. I'm starting to feel sorry for the mouse. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> for Parr, the case for the timeless, spring-loaded design is open and shut. After all, who can really argue with this? Except maybe the mouse.